We're a disabled animal advocacy group and we work with a, a number of organisations to help improve the life of, of animals that have been injured. My name's Tim Giles, um, I'm one, one of the trustees of Broken Biscuits. So this is Otto. Otto is uh, Romanian. Um, he was he was injured in a, in a car accident, and we were involved right from the start to firstly rescue him off the street where where he'd been abandoned, and then to help him through the, all of the surgeries he needed to to get him uh, fit and healthy. We fell in love with him along the way, and uh, rather than adopt him out, we ended up. Uh, taking him in as a member of our family and as you can see now he's, he's very much the active healthy healthy dog. Well my wife Cassie and I we volunteered for a number of uh, spay and neuter uh, charities um, and we were involved in doing, th doing their programs and we realised a lot of the shelters that we were working with there were a lot of uh, these disabled dogs that they called lifers, they were dogs that never had a chance of getting adopted so we thought that someone needed to do something to help those animals so um, we decided to see what we could do to help and Broken Biscuits formed out of that. We've built up a network um, across Europe of uh, th through working with various um, organisations. Um, what tends to happen is a, an animal's been hit by a car, a dog gets brought into a shelter and, and we get contacted to help either fund its you know, medical care or to help it with its um, accommodation and ultimately to try and find it uh, a foster or a permanent home. Obviously there are certain things I can't do, you know, you know, Otto here gets frustrated when he tries to chase a bird or something like that, but when he's in his wheel cart, he's as fast as any of them. I think that the lesson is that these are just normal dogs that have been that, that, that have had an accident and now they're mended and so we're just all about giving them a future. Well a lot of these dogs would end up rotting in the shelters where they where they'd be kept alive but really wouldn't have a quality of life or in some cases they they'd be euthanized. And so what we do is we provide them, not just for us, but obviously support networks for other owners, fosterers, carers, to help them to, to care for these dogs and you know, show them the, the basics so that you know, they can become part of the family and have you know, fulfilling lives. Bambi, who um, one of the dogs that, we're, that I'm driving up to Manchester this afternoon, was a puppy, um, was on the streets and some of the distressing photographs of, of when the condition that he was in when, when he was found and just to see him now is just that the happy, smiley, you know, fun loving, loving dog and once you see him in his wheel cart, you know, it, it's, it, it is really heartwarming to see, see the, the life that these dogs can still have. Our, our mission is to try and, and inform people that, you know, just because your dog's had an accident doesn't necessarily mean that the only option is to put it down, that there are options. In a lot of the cases it's about informing vets as well, it's about getting into the schools, getting into talking to uh, the vets and, the, and the, you know, the owners and prospective owners and just letting them know that you know, aside from a small, few, few little sort of preparatory steps you need to do, they're just, just normal dogs. That's the thing, I mean the dogs don't realise that they're disabled, they, you know, once they get better and they're no longer in, in any pain, they, they just go about their lives. You know, it's, it's important thing to see is this is not, a, we're not in a, a depressing industry, this is all about improving the quality of life and getting them up and active and, and involved and the dogs will respond if you give them the opportunity and you give them the, sometimes it's just the tools, whether it's the wheel carts, sometimes it's just the, the family environment and the care and they just become vibrant members of you know, families again.